Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger again here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Uh, everything you need for fly tying and for fly tying instructional videos. Uh, what today we're going to tie a Copper John. This is my version of the Copper John, the way I like to fish it. Uh, you see a lot of my videos, I like to stray a little bit from the standard patterns, but still keep the basic aspects of it, and I like to make things a little flashy. So, take a watch. Hope you enjoy Okay, on the Copper John, what we're going to tie this on is, I like to tie mine on a scud hook, gives a little bend, a little bit more lifelike. Um, this is a size 16 I'm tying on here, you can tie it down as small as small as you can tie it, or you can tie it up to even a size 12 if you'd like. Uh, and tie it with a bead head on this, uh, just a regular old brass bead head. And for this one I'm going to use some brown thread to start with, and just tie your thread down. Okay, then the first thing we're going to put on on this is the tail. So we're going to wrap wrap our thread back to the back, and we're going to use goose bites for the tail. So what I like to do on this to get the goose bites to spread out is I'm going to take my finger right behind here and just hold where I want it to be. I'm going to make a ball of thread, and by holding your finger there, you wrap up against your finger. It helps to not let the thread roll off the back, and it'll make that little ball that you want there. And just once you get a little ball, then you're going to take your goose bites. And for the back ones, I'm going to use brown, uh, just a little regular old goose bite here. And you don't want it to be too long, not longer than the width of the, than the width, length of your fly. I'm going to sort of wrap one down, give it a loose lap, wrap and tie it down, and then we're going to put the other side on. Okay, by tying that little ball. On, the, on your line there, it's going to to uh, help spread your bites apart. As you can see here, it, it spread them out, split them in half, opened it up a little bit, makes it look more more like a tail there, the split tail on a lot of your nymphs. Okay, then I'm going to cut these off. Okay, my next piece that I'm going to use on this is uh, just green wire. Like I said, I stray from the standard a little bit on this. Standard would be your copper. Uh, I like color. I like the greens. A lot of green insects in the creeks around our area. Just going to tie the green wire down on this and wrap it back to the back. Okay, the green wire we're going to be wrapping for our body. That's going to make the body of this fly. Wrap thread back up here and then we're just going to wrap our green wire on to make the body kind of like a, a a brassy same effect as you get with the brassy this is a very generic fly uh, like your hair's ear your brassies you know just a standard generic nymph doesn't really imitate anything it imitates a lot of things kind of kind of deal just standard standard fly you want in your box uh, kind of a simple one we'll include this in our beginner series you want to wrap this not the whole way up but a good ways up there leave room and then uh, we're gonna cut this off like I always teach cut with the back and bottom end of your thread bottom end of your scissors so you don't damage the tips of your scissors and they stay sharp and then we're gonna wrap that thread down now the next step we're going to put wings on this fly. Once again we're going to use the goose bites. This time we're going to use a white goose bite to make the wings. And uh, you're going to line them up on, on the back. You want them to crisscross a little bit like in an X pattern you'll see. And we're going to just lay it down on top of the back. A little bit tricky. Not real tricky but I'm going to pinch them down and you'll see there how they fan apart and split like that. That's the way you want them, just like wings coming off a bug. We're going to tie that down and clip the ends off. Okay, now the next part 
this part that's uh, not really standard on any fly this is just one of the things that I picked up I use on this fly I'm going to use a uh, green embroidery thread this is the same kind of embroidery thread that you go to the craft store and buy like the girls make the friendship bracelets out of and stuff you can you can you recognize the packaging there uh, DMC makes it you can get it at any Hobby Lobby or craft store or something like that but they have these metallic colors I use them on a lot of my flies it's something I really like to use it gives a lot of flash for this one I'm using an olive or green color I'm not sure exactly it's the only green they have but I'm just gonna tie it down and this is gonna be the flashback and, and you'll see me use this as flashback on other flies uh, trim that a little shorter get it even okay and just hold this down and tie it on further back this is actually going to become the back and my legs on this fly okay then we're just going to leave it hang off the back here now the next thing I want to use is some uh, peacock uh, pheasant tail ice dubbing is what I like to use on on this fly uh, just going to put a little bit of dub on here You don't want this to be too thick. Remember, you're making a you got a skinny fly here. You don't really want this. Isn't a big meaty fly. Now we're just gonna dub this on. Dub it back over the wings here, just a little bit. Make it nice and full there. Oops. Take this up. Okay, and then bring it back up here right behind the bead. Now, we're going to take our embroidery thread and we're going to make the flashback part of this fly. You're just going to lay it right out over the bead. Okay, and then we're going to do a soft loop behind the bead to get this lined up where we want. You want it straight on, nice and straight on top there. Put another one and we're going to tie it down just make it a little bit tighter okay now for your legs we want to take this embroidery thread there's six strands of it I'm going to put three on each side of it split them in three what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them back to the side I'm going to make a couple wraps and wrap them down pull them back into the side wrap it down and I'm going to I'm going to half hitch this one just to get it up on the knot there. Put a couple half hitches on here, tie this off. Okay, then for the legs, I'm just going to take the pieces you pulled back to the side, trim them off. Trim them off even. You can see you have the the finished fly here. You got your legs, your wings. It's a standard Copper John, except not your standard colors. So uh, then the other thing I'll do with this fly, uh, you see me on other videos using your UV clear finish, uh, your UV glue. I'll put a little bit of dab of that on the flash on the the flashback part of the fly here just to strengthen that up give it a little hard shell case and get a little bit of that over my thread to strengthen up my knot and then I hit that with the light hit it for a couple seconds with the light and it cures up and hardens you see it's soft dry already that's all it takes for this UV glue really neat stuff and that's all it takes for this fly. Thanks again for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed our video on how to make the Copper John, at least my Copper John. And uh, hope you keep checking back. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we're constantly updating, putting new videos on here, doing travel logs. We're going to have some instructional fishing videos coming up in the future. Uh, please keep checking back, check us out, and don't forget to subscribe. And uh, also check us out on our 
on our fly shop at wholesingersflyshop.com. All the material you'll find, except for this fly, the embroidery that you get at your craft shop. Uh, all the materials you'll find, you can buy at our website and uh, lots of other stuff too. So check us out at wholesingersflyshop.com and thanks for watching.